Good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So let's get open for business here. And let's wake up the football gods here on this Friday. How are you doing? There's a new hire in Jacksonville. After all, after what was being reported that um, Brian Lefwich was the presumed leader about a week ago, well, they made a change. But before I get to that, I, I have to say I'm a miss. Um, I'm trying to do better. We have our Thrive site that is actually going to be growing as part of uh, my online store as well. But for the channel members, if you're a channel member, if you never got a shot glass or you never said, hey, you know, here's my address or anything, the Thrive set, if you go to the community tab, there's all kinds of posts in there. There's my latest videos for me cooking, uh, the different meals that I'm cooking on, on my diet and stuff. But there's a post in there for you guys. And on there, we end up getting a little bit of information so that way we can do things like different giveaways and stuff like that for you guys for being a channel member. You get a 25% discount on Joe Boo merchandise and stuff like that. So go through there so we can take care of you because we also want to wish you a happy birthday. And I forgot yesterday, Warren Clink Scales, yesterday, February 3rd was your birthday, so happy birthday to ya, belated. Happy birthday to ya, happy birthday. I know I got to get a better song. And today is Nathan Henry's, I actually got his day right, birthday. Congratulations, 1961 and 1971. So Nathan Henry, happy birthday to ya, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. That's right. Happy birthday. And if you don't like me singing happy birthday, let me know what would be better. Okay, just let me know. Okay, I just want to recognize you fans that we are blessed to be here for another year. So last night, the Jacksonville Jaguars in, I would say, the 11th hour, but uh, it was more like 2 a.m., hired Doug Peterson, former Philadelphia Eagle Super Bowl champion Doug Peterson. I guess uh, that's a better move than Urban Meyer. Thank God. You know what? Thank God we did not hire Urban Meyer because Urban Meyer was a complete disaster. And as far as Doug Peterson goes, you got nowhere to go but up. You got nowhere to go but up. You've got potentially a franchise quarterback in there to work with. You can just start all over. You don't have the Philadelphia Eagles, you know, with uh, that situation and stuff. You can start over and remake this team, and you have the credentials to say, I've done it. See this? This is a Super Bowl ring. This is what you want to get. I'm the guy to get you there because I've done it. At least that's what he can say. For us Cowboys, you know, I did a video last week about Jerry Jones coaching coup. I said, see, Jerry Jones, what's he got Dan Quinn back in the fold? You know, everybody thinks, well, he got Dan Quinn back in the fold, so that way he can take Adonis, Micah Parsons, the football god that he is, the guy who ended up winning last night in the fastest man. Now, again, again Tariq Hill didn't look like he was ready. He, he wasn't ready, but still. You see Micah Parsons and that beef versus all those smaller guys, and he's blowing. Uh, yeah, he looked good. We've seen what he's done as a rookie, and he has been amazing. It's not just about taking what he did with the defense going from 29th to 7th and scoring defense. It's not about just finishing the job of rebuilding and remaking this defense from a you know, bend-don't-break to aggressive defense. We still have stuff to go. We, you know, we got Diggs who had all the interceptions, 11 and stuff, but also has to learn how to cover and not get beat. You got Micah Parsons where we have to figure out, is he the next Lawrence Taylor, an edge rusher, outside linebacker, or is he going to be a middle linebacker like, you know. God, I'm having a brain fart. Just won the award. I'm getting old. Um, wow. Jeez, great Chicago Bear. Dick Butzkiss. Is he going to be a dick butt kiss in the middle? 
this all has to be designed by Dan Quinn. But what I had said was, basically, while well, the Jaguars just got their coach, Doug Peterson, Jerry Jones has three coaches kind of lined up. He's got Mike McCarthy, who is now, you've got to say, on the hot seat. There's no if, ands, or buts about that. Mike McCarthy is on the hot seat. Mike McCarthy could be fired during the season because Jerry Jones has Dan Quinn, and he's confident in Dan Quinn. He's as much said that here at the Senior Bowl that, sure, he's one of the hottest candidates. If I didn't have a coach, I'd be interviewing him right now. We've seen him actually coaching game of the Cowboys this year. So when you think about firing a coach, typically a coach gets fired going into a bye week because that gets you enough time to try and transition. And you're usually just bringing in a coordinator that you have on the staff and it's not really much changing that's going on. But having Dan Quinn, you might as well say Dan Quinn is head coach B. That he's there, ready to go at the drop of a hat. And if that doesn't work out, if you end up firing Mike McCarthy, who I think is on, definitely on the hot seat before the season even starts, don't sneeze. Don't let out a fart in the meeting. Because you could be fired right then and there. I believe he's on the hot seat without a doubt. That This is your one chance, your one shot, your one opportunity. But you can try out Dan Quinn. If the season starts off bad, you got nothing to lose. Dan Quinn turns it around, gets you in the playoffs, and gets you where you want to go, you hold on to him. If not, if Sean Payton hasn't already picked a new gig, if Sean Payton really is interested in the Cowboys, then you could go after Sean Payton. That was what I had said last week. And it's quite honestly, let, let's be real here. It's Captain Obvious. I can't say that that was, I was the originator of that idea. Maybe I was just the first one to kind of say it. But you can definitely see that's the plan. If you're Mike McCarthy, you got to be looking over your shoulder. Now, Kellen Moore has gotten to Miami. Uh, tomorrow is his interview for the Miami Dolphins job, which seems to be kind of a crazy situation, but apparently there are ways to make extra money in Miami uh, as long as you follow along with the coach. But this morning, um, just want to listen to Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. They're reiterating the same thing that I talked about. Let's listen to them. Pressure, Max. You make this comment all the time. Pressure can burst pipes, right? Like, or it can make diamonds. Or it can make diamonds. So what is it going to be, Mike McCarthy? Is it going to burst your pipe or is it going to make you a diamond? Because if it doesn't make you a diamond, then I don't need you here because I'm trying to get a diamond. Ooh. I'm at the end. I, I, it feels like I'm, I'm venturing towards the end of this run to a degree if you're Jerry Jones, right? Like who knows how much longer he has. So if you can't help me get the job done this year, mm -hmm. then – that might be Dan Quinn, or that might be Sean Payton, Harry. And I was Somebody's going to gonna help me get it done Listen, if Jay, it can't I, be you. I was just about to say, not to mention, you have Sean Payton sitting in the holster taking a year off right now. So if it's not Dan Quinn, that's another guy. So it's two guys that can possibly take over that job if Mike McCarthy doesn't do what he's supposed to do. Imagine, and I feel like he has one year, just this year, to prove yes. it. Yeah, yeah, one I mean, shot, I, one opportunity. Imagine Bill Parcells there, and he says, talking wild about Bill Parcells, that was the point about the Mike McCarthy hire when it happened. Yeah. He looked for what's the biggest name I can get in coaching with the most gravitas Super Bowl ring who I can push around, who everyone knows ain't going to be calling the shots. I'm going to be calling the shots. That's Mike McCarthy. Any coach for the Cowboys who's not Sean Payton, Bill Parcells, Jimmy Johnson, you'll know it when you hear it. Oh, that guy's not a patsy. Right, like that dude is yeah, – the other guys correct. are there as pawns for Jerry Jones. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong at all. And I, and I will say this, is it right? In my eyes, no, but it's Jerry's team. Jerry's going to do what he wants to do. Uh -huh. So, so Max, when Jerry Jones is worth $10.5 billion mm – -hmm. Is that a lot? That's, that's a lot. That's power. Yeah. So you have to earn my damn respect. You have to earn it. 
Like th- that, and that's what Mike McCarthy has. Any coach you that said, comes in there, you have to earn that from me. Who talked about his age? Who talked about his age before? Because I yeah, right, Jay. It's not. I, I when you said that, something occurred to me. I'm always like, hey, Jerry's clock is ticking. He ain't getting any younger, right? And he's got to know he wants to win a Super Bowl again. But he wants to do it like Sinatra said, my way, right? Yeah. And he hasn't done it in 25 years. His way worked early on because he could manipulate certain rules that he helped usher in, salary cap rules, and then prorate the bonus, get Deion Sanders, stuff like that. Yeah. Everyone got hip to the game. That didn't work anymore. 25 is just a parlor trick, right? Because they all figured out he never adjusted. 25, 26, no Super Bowls. And I'm always thinking, doesn't he know he ain't going to live forever? When you said that, Jay, it occurred to me when I think he, he stops being stubborn and goes hires the right coach. I think when he starts to feel like he's living on borrowed time, in other words, mm. like, oh, I'm, I might already be past the do like this. He's 79, I, I, Max. I, 79? No, I get it. I get it. I have parents in their 80s. And, but at a certain point, you might be feeling like, I'm lucky right now to still be around. And by the way, to still be, have the capacity to function at a high level. Once he starts feeling Harry J, like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm, this is gravy years right now. He, I, I, there's no guarantee. I keep. That's when I think he's like, all right, let me go get the right guy. And that's why I, I said to a lot of people when it comes to Jerry Jones and this Sean Payton deal, right? If Sean Payton does go to the Cowboys to be their head coach at some point, it's going to have to be sacrificed from Jerry Jones because mm-hmm. he's going to have to realize his way didn't bring them success in a Super Bowl, right? So now it's time to step back and let a strong personality like a Sean Payton, a guy that yeah. who has done it uh, in a city of New Orleans that was decimated by Hurricane Katrina, and he basically brought that city back to life. He's he's done it. Sean Payton has done it. So if a guy if he decides to hire Sean Payton, he has to take that step uh, that's that that seat back and, and sacrifice for the greater good. Sometimes you got to cut off your finger to save your hand. I mean, to you put don't, it in terms. You don't think going through Wade Phillips, Jason Garrett, and now Mike McCarthy, if it doesn't work out during that long run. At 79 years old. By Weighs the time, on you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, by the time he's 80, and Max, to add to what you were talking about, that, that legacy that you want, like you, you start recognizing, I need somebody who is going to wield power like me Does he in order re- to get the results I need. And that person is somebody that will be looked at more as my equal, and it has to be seen that way to a degree for us to be successful. His problem is he's too vibrant still at his age, right? Like, the, the, I, I think of George Steinbrenner with the Yankees, who, like Jerry, won early on because he spent money before other guys were really spending money. Then everyone got hip to the game, and the Yankees weren't – they didn't win a, a division. They didn't go to the playoffs for year, over a decade, right? Then he got banned from baseball for a little while. And while that happened, they didn't trade away the prospects. And then as he got older and he didn't have the same kind of – uh, uh, kind of vigor, Roboto. right? Yeah. Then he and he could and he receded a little bit in the organization. Organization got better. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe mm. and Jerry maybe has to, while he still has his faculties, learn from that and just take it back a little bit. Yeah, well, that's not going to happen, Jerry. Jerry Jones is not going to be taking back a bit. But here it is. You you have to believe that this is the mentality of we must win now. There are no tomorrows. There's not going to be any excuses. You've seen Jerry already throwing people under the bus real quick. And you got to figure that when you work for the Dallas Cowboys, man, you know, you better be ready to produce or I'm going to change you. Like I said, it's worth like $10 billion. He gets what he wants, except for that elusive Super Bowl ring again. We'll see where all this goes. And, um, It's going to get interesting, to say the least, and there will be plenty to talk about. We have the Senior Bowl, of course, this weekend. We've got Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones. We're getting all kinds of quotes. We're seeing uh, our our players, of course, at the Pro Bowl, so we're seeing and getting a little taste of football this weekend. And then, of course, next weekend, it's the Super Bowl. But don't feel bad that the Super Bowl is next weekend because we are in the shortest month of the year, and come March 20th, when free agency starts, it's going to get crazy between now and then because the Cowboys, you're going to start hearing about some restructures. You're going to start hearing about some players being released. You're going to hear about some contracts that are going to get done before that. The Cowboys, like they always do, won't be big players in free agency going for players in that first week. But they are going to have to be players in the second, third week because we have a big roster 
that's turning over, and we've got a lot of work to do. So this offseason, this is make or break for the Cowboys right now, and we have a lot of work to do. So with that being said, i got a lot of work to do here uh, up in the workshop because i got stuff that i got to get out to you guys. And I hope you are having a great day. And you know how we are. folks here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe for the Sports Report. And the only thing else I got to say is, hey!